Hey everyone, don't look at the runtime of the video, we got Dragon's Gate for you, Chapter 20, the best map in Fire Emblem 7, Hector Hard Mode, Intended Ranks. This map is so good, because usually because you're in a hurry to do a lot of things, but I don't get the sense that you're in a hurry to do anything except get a bunch of experience, isn't that right, Altissimo? Uh, it would be. Um, I mean, I do get a bunch of experience, and that is the goal here, but there are still things I have to be in a hurry in order to accomplish. So that there is some some actual strategic tactical planning in this map for once. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, if you're in a hurry, it's a good thing you brought Mar. Mar wait, where is Marcus? <laughs> Not here. Neither is Osman. No. <laughs> and no saying. How are we going fast? I guess is, is that Crack Florina at least? Crack Florina. Uh, Lynn has gotten some levels. Elliewood is decent, so it's oh, gonna true. be Cat Cab City with uh, effective weaponry. <laughs> and we're making things more difficult in turn 1-2 by opening the door to the archer on the left, so there's even more to do for all these units than yeah. there normally is. I, I mean, and I have two archers. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, you brought both? I thought I saw Rebecca <laughs> in preps. Oh, Will's yes, there too, oh here. god. Oh no. What are we doing? Why are we here? You opened like Weird all the doors things. on turn 1. I like opening doors. It is. This is foreshadowing. <laughs> Are you an FE7 thief? <laughs> an enemy sure. Thief? We'll, we'll, we'll make that my class. Uh -huh. <laughs> I like opening oh. doors and chests. Oh, we're just risking Lin's life turn one? I like it. Yeah, sure, why not? Right, what do you mean risking? Come on, she survived to 6 HP. Well, she did, but she's in range of a mage that can do more than 6 she damage. I don't think she is. No, she. Oh, she is, no, yes. She's hella dead. <laughs> she gets hit there. Yeah, uh, fortunately, I am too good. I <laughs> also noticed you didn't do the little trick where you bait one of the nomads into the little corner near where I think it's Will is. The bottom right, of the top right of your starting position, where you get like one of the nomads off your butts. Oh, that would make sense. Mm -hmm. um, actually, I didn't know about that. Mm -hmm. But it's yeah, no, I see, I see what you're talking about anyway. Mm -hmm. Usually I like to try and rescue drop someone onto that choke point in the middle of the map. To stop Cameron and friends from plotting through, and I just go through the left, and it's very easy to catch the goal in time. I don't think this army is capable of doing that even on turn three. That oh, is actually Lin, the plan. What are you doing? Great. We're trying to be reliable here, Lynn. What are you doing? You can't dodge what tank. The, what do you? What do you mean try to be reliable? Okay. No, that's not me. There's someone else who is trying to do a reliable runs clear of uh, rank, intended ranks. Oh really? But it ain't me. Okay. Who's doing that? Uh, someone from the Fire Emblem Discord. They didn't want me to talk about it too much publicly, like, okay. in regards to who it is. Okay. We'll keep it a secret. Well, I guess you're not moving all that much. I know the Legault deadline is not as tight as it feels like on your first playthrough here, because he does take a while to get all the, like both chests and then walk all the way to the upper left, but uh, you're getting a little anxious here. You're not making that much progress. No, not really. Um, going through the left does make things easier, though. Um, Honestly, like for for anyone trying this, um, if you're playing Hector Hard Mode, don't try to go up through that door near Nurgle. Uh, just go through the left. It's it's yeah. it's easier. Yeah, Nurgle's way too strong. Don't do it. No, what Nurgle? What is it? Because I was thinking about the fact that there are shamans there. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> I think you meant Darren, yeah, or Cameron, one of the two. They're both. I meant the same Darren. Door. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, Cameron is there too. Yeah. No. Nur Nurgle <laughs> awaits like... you behind the Dragon's Gate. Something. Something. We could just kill him right here, and then the game would be over. I mean, we'd be ending with one of the best maps in the game, so, like, what's, That's what's true. the big problem? That's true. Yeah. I mean, the, the, the ending of the place does take place here in the Dragon's Gate, so it only makes sense. Hey, that's a, yeah. that's a bit too many, many Cavaliers. I hope you brought three Lords with their personal weapons to take care of that. Well, you're in for not a surprise, because they're all Force Deployed. <laughs> so it's not a surprise. Okay, where's the gold right now? Is he up upper right yet? I think it's, like, turn three. Oh, yeah, no, there, yeah, there he is. Okay, he's got the first chest. Okay, we're good. We're good. We got time. We got time. We got a few turns here. Do you remember what he has, Cameron? I think he has like a steel sword in this one. He keeps switching weapons between modes. I don't remember, but he doubled Hector. And okay, oh, I didn't see weapon triangle, so he's got some sort of sword. Yeah, he's got the steel sword equipped. I think I saw a brief glance of that. So that's like fairly easy to do for Lynn at least. And his gates. Oh, we're rescuing. You're right. Okay, yeah. Sure. Lots of Cavaliers that's rescue Lin with our other rapier. Oh, I see what he's doing. Okay. All right. Interesting. <laughs> this is so scuffed. <laughs> At least she's in the forest this time. That's why I put her there. Yeah. 
<laughs> it's not good. It's not reliable. I, I did say I would like to see a risky drop here somewhere. I just didn't think it would be this one. <laughs> I, I'm also fairly afraid that Hector is not going to move this turn just to build support with Elliwood. So your most durable anti-cavalier unit is going to be behind Elliwood. No, I don't. I don't care that much about building supports between them. Um, I did when I was trying to get a, a C support. Um, but that's already been taken care of. Mm -hmm. Shouts to uh, Raven and Fiora for getting the the reinforcers from the stairs out of the way at least. Those are really annoying if you can go. Yeah, the fact that they can between the two of them deal with it is nice because I've all like in the past I've had a lot of issues. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Hector can't move up though because oh. he doesn't have enough movement to go past the forest. No. So the best he can do is Andex for now. All right, Lynn, here comes enemy face. I've lost an Iron Man to so almost Jake. exactly this. Nope. I was just watching that recently, as a matter of fact. <laughs> what? She only took 10 damage from that? What? I guess it's like a sword cav. Oh, no, Lin! What are you she's doing? Like, she's a dodge tank. That's what she does, right? Just, That's why is, she's good. That's what everyone keeps telling me. Because it's not the binding blade. Enemies sometimes hit you here. Oh, oh, they. Uh, oh, okay. I, yeah, I okay. I don't know why it decided to do Maybe it couldn't I think go. It had no the other full places left. to go, I think. Look at that! Well, <laughs> she did dodge tank, open. you're right. Oh, that's oh, that's beautiful. That shouldn't work, but it did, and I'm I'm glad it did. <laughs> that's so <laughs> awful. <laughs> and also, Elliewood doubling nomads. Yeah, that's uh that's not Elliewood, that's Lynn in disguise. Oh, okay. We have two Lins now. We have replicate. Also, this is like the point where it usually gets like very stressful with the reinforcement spawns on all sides, especially that mage in that really annoying position with the thing. If you don't give him something to do, he just breaks through the wall and you have three mages that you have to somehow beat with everyone having low res. Kanas is really good yeah. though. Kanas is going to be um, dealing with those mages, yeah. Yeah. He's still, like I said before, he's still kind of on a promotion timer. We're wanting to get him to 20 before uh, Genesis, so we're coming up on that. Yeah, I was expecting him to maybe go somewhere else where the mage can actually attack him, but I guess if you break the wall you get the same effect, because Kanas is one of the few units who can once range those mages and counterattack and not die very quickly. Well, he, he he hit a calf. He was needed to oh. kill a calf. Oh right, I didn't see that. Might be. No, I mean, at first it showed him targeting the wall, but I, I moved the cursor. <laughs> the things you can do in this game, moving cursors. <laughs> I didn't know how else to phrase that. That didn't sound like I was like insulting your intelligence. <laughs> it's okay. You can insult my intelligence. Um, the other left is annoying too, because I think all those fighters have hand axes, and most people can't do. run around fighters. There's there's not much you can do against them. Um, so yeah, that 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 upper left is really annoying, and luckily I I didn't have too much trouble with it um, because of some interesting like placement, but we'll see that you know yeah. soon. Because looking at the units here, I think Hector is like the only person unaccounted for who could maybe do that. Because if you just throw someone like Gee or Raven or God knows who where, they, there's like a million spots they can hand next you from. I think there's like a mage or like a javelin soldier up there too, so it just gets really awkward but really fast. Not to mention, um, if you go too far north trying to deal with them, then you're in range of those like three red enemies. Oh, they're obviously red. <laughs> up in the, the throne room area. That was commies. <laughs> <laughs> I see Lin can one under with the Manikati, so I stand corrected. The Manikati does have like eight mites, so that makes sense. Oh, yeah, and that's Lin's got some okay, strength. That's definitely a priority target, Loan. Thank you. You're really helping here. In that true <laughs> it was word. mostly just to get him in there. And, you know, there's someone he can attack. Mm -hmm. So It just looks like he was really trying to go, I'm helping. Oh, are you really putting Elwood mm -hmm. in D spot? Oh my god, you're really putting Elwood in D spot. Yes, I am! But unlike me, you're smart enough not to give him the rape here, so I applaud you for that. <laughs> Besides, one range enemies move first, so I'm pretty sure one is going to attack him, and then one is going to get stopped behind him, so the uh, yeah. nomad won't be able to attack. That is true. And then one rounded an armor neck, I think? Damn. Yeah. Insane. I think she also dodged. I like how Ellie would crit anyway with the iron sword, Yeah. Though. He's gonna do that every time. And now he is. Well, he's not in danger because his stats he's are He's also like not even decent. taking any damage. Yeah, it's pretty good. I think, is Hector barely in his range still? I'm not sure. We'll nope. see. Yeah, yes, he yes, is. Yes, okay, he is. Cool. So that, that helps. Helps a lot. 
and bottom right fighters are gonna break out and they usually try to make it towards my uh, my reinforcement stopping squad like what's like raven and fiora in your case Very so annoying. that may going for low end is great because it means it doesn't block my way anywhere else that's like one of the best spots it could have gone to um yeah. and low end had a jab equipped but so did uh hector but the fighter had already moved to attack Lynn, so it it only had two targets that it could have attacked uh low and hector but either either one of those gets it out of my way yep so now that fighter's in the way but like once we get past that you know the way north is clear and yeah there are ways yeah. there are ways to get past that this is probably something funny you could do here where you could like, kill the calf from range near Alleywood and then you put someone in front of the nomad and <laughs> get that yeah. stuck here we'll see if that happens and then get some one round Oh, yeah, that looks good to me. I, Hector doesn't have any Vaughns, though. I think he's very low, isn't he? Is he? I, I thought he had, like, he either has, like, 5 or 15 HP. It, it was it went by really quick. But I guess you're not worried, even though he's in the really. age. Not really. <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure the fighter's gonna move first, anyway. He should. And I, I gave both uh, Hector and Low and Iron Sword to incentivize them to attack them and not Lin, because if they attack Lin, they're just getting in the way. Um, well, I mean, I guess they're getting in the way if they attack the others too, but it's easier to attack them mm -hmm. back, I guess. I don't remember. <laughs> I just realized that Rebecca and Will are like perfectly suited for taking care of the enemies that are here, and they're going to be perfectly suited for the Pegasus reinforcement when they come in too. That's really convenient. Yeah, that's why they're here, um, because this is actually a pretty good training spot for them. Mm -hmm. um, Sarah is going to be kind of pulling double duty here when the reinforcements come, um, trying to heal both like Fiora and Raven in. Uh, Rebecca and Will. Yeah, I think Rebecca's safe in the forest for now. Will actually pulled back because he was afraid of the killer bow, I guess? I think it was the killer bow, yeah. He might have gotten injured. Um, he might have actually finally gotten hit, gotten hit despite the forest. Okay, no, that fighter did go for wood. I'm just talking out of my butt. <laughs> <laughs> As always on this, uh, on this series. Okay, but that guy attacks from one range because he has no op other options. Yeah, that should mean that you can get through this turn, because uh, the fighter can be one rounded that we've seen several times already, and the mage is weakened already by Lowen. Yeah, the mage being weakened is important, though, because I don't know if anyone had mm -hmm. the ability to uh, get there in one round. Yeah, I think... Easily. So there's three thieves coming up. I'm not sure which is which, but I vaguely remember that there's one thief that just goes for the treasure and not for the escape point like Lugald is. So that means you have a little bit more time than it might look like at the top. Yes. Correct, and we're going to see that. I didn't realize that was why that happened, but we are going to see that behavior in action here. Uh, you're blocking so, yeah. the path to, I think, an escape point and or the treasure, so I don't know how that impacts your behavior, but I think they just stand still and do nothing, other than, like, maybe getting in front of you. Well, so Legault should... has no, um, no more chess keys, so he's going to try to gun for the escape point. Yes. Um, it... I don't remember about the other thief, and then the one thief is going to try to get to the chest, tre uh, chest even though Hector is in the way. Escape is in the, all the way in the upper left, right? It's not in that little green corridor where your units are, right? Yeah, correct. Yeah, so it is, like, pretty important that he's recruited this upcoming turn or else he's just gone. <laughs> Unless, or, like, yes. you can block him, I guess, but that would be less useful, less, less good in your turn economy. Yeah, so th this is, um... Hector is in danger because he's in range of, like I said, those three enemies, and he's not really well suited for all three of them, um, because one of them is a merc. Uh, and my Hector's kind of slow, so he might even get doubled. Um, but his defense in a void on the uh, armor knight and soldier is kind of what I'm banking on here. Yeah, I think there's an actually from the map, but it's on the other side, so he should be fine against most of these. And he got, like, put to full HP, so yeah, there's one yeah. armor down, he should be fine. <laughs> Matthew just keeps fighting this night and expecting different outcomes. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Okay, so he actually did get hit by everything. Um, I, I might be remembering a different version of the strategy where I was trying to put a different unit there. Ooh, that is scary. Yeah. Also, that thief moves out of the way. I think he's in range of the shaman, but I don't think that's happening. I might be like off by one square, but it looked like he was in uh, quote unquote danger. We'll find out. Mm hmm. Is he in danger? I don't know. We'll find out if he dies. Find out after <laughs> these wall breaks. <laughs> yeah. It's one of the most annoying maps to lose turns on in like a, a draft race setting because all the enemies are like breaking walls and wasting their time all the time. 
one, two, I'm three. Sure. Yeah, I think Hector is in range yeah. of that shaman. But he was, but yeah. it didn't go for him. Yeah, yeah sure. he moved before the thief, I guess, and he yeah. didn't see a yeah, target. He did that. Yeah. So you don't see enemies gray out ever in this game. Well, you see them gray out after they've moved, but if they don't see a move to do, then they just don't move. Period. Right. Don't take a turn. I guess the thieves must be last completely then. Yeah, that's um, kind of got to be of course, the problem here is that Tector is surrounded by a lot of enemies and needs to find a way to talk to the gold. Yeah, I, I was expecting you to use Lin, but I guess uh, she's going to take care of the armor instead. Switching duties with Hector. I got two um, this thieves. also makes it more difficult for whichever thief is going to the escape point to actually reach the escape point. And they might both try to go for the treasure, I don't remember. Yeah, I think as long as they got a thief has a key, they'll try to go for this treasure over here. That's uh, what I remember, like, kind of saved me. I don't remember if the member card thief has a chest key, though. Because that's right, the guy you really want to get before he goes away. Yeah, and like I said, I, I did want to steal everything, and I especially want to steal um, the member card for, for reasons. Yeah. I think you mentioned the reason a couple episodes ago, but I'll keep it a surprise for those who haven't seen it. Um, but uh... I was trying to think if there was more than one reason. There, <laughs> there, are, two re there, are, there are two times that I visited a secret shop. In this, in this run. Nice. It looks like he's heading towards the one in the north right now. Oh, you, um... Did you know archers can't count on enemy phase? Just, just checking. Oh no, I didn't! <laughs> just checking, you know? Just just, just a quick checkup. Archers are good I don't think flyers. they have javelins, so I don't have, like, a way to set them up so they can counter. No. Um, unlike with Will in, uh, Chapter 16. Yeah. I, I don't know if there's a benefit to being in that forest. That, that's better than like just staying out of range. We'll see. Oh, it looks like one shaman is coming over. I usually steal the member card like the turn that 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 I root the gold, yeah, but okay. I guess it was so too close to the shamans. Gunning. They're both gunning for the treasure. Oh, I see. Well, that's good. That means steal that one and I guess kill him and then get the other one. I have to kill him. Good luck, Hector. <laughs> it was, he actually had 61 hit. That's not too bad. Not terrible. I've been playing a lot of FE6, so 61 is not too bad. <laughs> it's all relative. Alright, Matthew, please get away from that armor knight. It's not good for you. Get away from that armor knight, please. <laughs> oh, just oh. wait. Oh, you can attack from a forest now. That's good. Yeah, that's that was one one um, idea behind that. So now I need to make sure Sarah stays safe. <laughs> hiding behind so Merlinus. <laughs> hiding behind Merlinus and Will. What an interesting... Uh... <laughs> thing to do. Hey guys, where's all oh, the enemy phase of. combat? <laughs> oh, I guess I just need that Raven ends up facing a lot of the axe users, or at least one of the axe users. That's yeah. helpful. Fiora has no place, no business in this place, though. No. Uh, Matthew! Actually, oh, I didn't place. realize she was still in range of the archer, but... Still fighting armies with yeah, thieves. <laughs> it, hey, it's Legault this time. He can yeah. at least do damage. Uh-huh. He's good, because he gets harp bonuses, right? He gets, like... Yeah. Points 25 strength from hard mode. <laughs> that means he's good. So yeah, these forests actually seem like perfectly placed to grind some archers. Like, they'll take attacks on player phase, or enemy phase, I mean, but it, it's really not that difficult for them. Yeah. Which is, which is neat. I wonder what the best target is for the Pegasi. I would think Sarah over Merlin this. It is gonna be Sarah, um, but she's in a forest, so I just have to like rely on her surviving like one hit or something like that. Mm -hmm. Dodging others. It does seem this, like Sarah to rely on others to cover for her like that. Yeah. <laughs> That's fair. Okay. All right. Oh, so, like, you're not. You don't even have to escape. You're not an enemy anymore. You can. What are we doing? <laughs> what? Oh, right, I guess we're letting the thief through so we can get close to the treasure. I guess. Yeah. That is that is the goal. So we can kind of trap him easier, steal his stuff, and then kill him. Oh, I. Oh, I guess that way. Hmm. Because you could steal the chest key and then use that. But I guess you're trying to save some lockpick uses? I don't even know what's going on. I don't remember why I decided to. I just remember that I decided to. It, I mean, it might have been that I couldn't actually steal anything at the time because I had a full inventory. So he still has the member one. card. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep, he sure does. <laughs> don't forget. He has the member card. I, I think an Iron Man. Uh, speaking of Iron Man, you did. I, I killed the member card thief before without You stealing. did, I remember seeing that. <laughs> Very cringe. I was like, oh, I can steal the member card this turn, let me plan up my entire turn and kill that one, kill that one. Oh, that was the member card thief. Goodbye. 
Yeah, that was pretty funny. Unfortunate. I mean, at least the secret shop is like... This is probably one of the worst games for the secret shop. Does not like... Don't really need promotion items to buy or anything, or like boots or anything cool like that. It's sick. Like, but there's some good stuff in there, don't get me wrong. There's some yeah. good stuff. Especially in the Kinship Spawn one. Yeah, we'll be seeing that. Okay, I think you're out of forests for this part. I am. Unfortunately. I could, didn't have good uh, ways to attack them from forests at the time. This is Hellas Go, two Pegasus. There's like two, twice as it's many Pegasus nights as there are archers. <laughs> Inventory management. Okay, we finally got the. Yeah, that's card. one of the biggest issues with the bees. Yeah. Because to kill him, and then I, I remember it's really annoying, Hector. What you don't get a lockpick from the gold. So Matthews is the only lockpick you have, unless you steal more. But I think you've stolen a couple already, so it shouldn't be an issue for you. Yeah, I think I've stolen every one that I've come across, except for the one in Chapter Eleven. Yeah, and I think that includes at least one from Seventeen. Yeah. So we have at least two to work with. Yeah. I don't remember if there's any other. Oh, I think the, the 15 brings one as well. Very generously. Yeah. It's one of the advantages of training Matthews. You can actually have enough speed to steal lockpicks from enemy thieves, even if they level up. I, you've been doing those 0% growth Iron Mans. At least that's what I'm watching. And Matthew can't do crap against most of the enemies after a certain point because he just doesn't ever level speed, obviously. Uh huh. Did, did you say I've been doing I've been doing 0% growth Iron Mans? Not, not you recently, but that's what I've been watching recently. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I I did. I think I tried three times before I succeeded. And uh, yeah, Matthew is really bad there. That combat, like even worse than it usually is, because his bases yeah. are so off. He's like four base strength. He's like Lin strength, but worse, basically, because he also doesn't have the Madikari. Right. I also I think my first real FE7 Iron Man attempt, Matthew died in chapter fourteen. <laughs> so no treasure for right. me. Oh, Fiora doing some javelin? Oh, oh. Uh, trying to! Try, <laughs> I didn't realize they were gonna do that much damage. It's like, aren't Pegasus Knights supposed to be good against mages? Why do mine keep sucking? Come oh, on yeah. now. Get it together, game designers. Javelin's too heavy. I would, ex I would expect you to bring the unlock staff on Priscilla. Did you? I think that's that's on Sarah. Oh, right. Oh, that she probably unlocks the door turn one. That's right. Yeah, that, I think that's what happened, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think. Either that or she had a door key, actually. But. That awkward moment when both Sarah and Rebecca want to be in the same spot so they can both heal and attack. It can't happen. Yeah. <laughs> Raven um, upwards so... and Armor Knight. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, go so ahead. So this chapter is basically done. Um, at this point, as you can see, like we we've cleared out the most threatening things, and you know it's it's easy enough to to get the rest of it taken care of. Um, but reinforcements come until turn twenty five. Oof. Which is ridiculous. There's never any need to spend 25 turns in this map, um, unless you're support grinding or something, or being me and trying to kill all the reinforcements. Yep. Is it really worth to stay here? Because there, there's a lot of enemies, but they're not the highest leveled enemies you'll face. Like, surely turns would be better spent elsewhere, unless you can also spend the turns elsewhere. Like, you just have that many turns. In a regular ranked run, you wouldn't want to do this. In intended ranks, tactics is leady enough that you can get away with it. Well, do you remember the requirement for this chapter, like the tactics requirements? I have Roughly. it in the description of the video. Let's see. Oh no, I didn't. I failed to read the description. I'm a failed YouTuber. I always tell people no, read it. the description. Um, Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> That's fine. I, I I totally get that. Um, both the used rank and the unused rank will want you to take 16 turns, okay. which itself is actually more than you need most of the time. Yeah. Um, so you're losing nine turns if you stay for all the reinforcements, which is a lot. Um, but like I said, you can get away with it in intended ranks for lenient or tactics is one. Lenient. Yeah, and this is a chapter where you get twelve deployment slots if you include all the lords, but they're good training targets, so why not include the lords in your account? And then it's and a, that's it's part a, of it. Yeah. If this chapter didn't have so many deployment slots, I probably wouldn't stick around to farm exp. Um, but because it does, it gives you a lot of leeway to to bring um some guys that can get you know good experience out of some of the uh the enemies that show up yeah i'm trying to think of like where else would i spend turns if i wasn't going to be in this one and i try to think of like a chapter that has like promoted reinforcements but there really aren't that many and you probably already have the ones that i would think of first like cargo destiny is a big one of course 
Oh, that's like a that's wall. already a route map, so yeah, that's true. But like you could route it I before mean, reinforcements showed up, right? If you wanted to. Yeah, yeah. Um, victory or death. Um, I mean, you have to finish it by turn. I think it's twenty if you want to get the value of life. But you could also just stick around till turn twenty. Hey, um, she does have unlock. No, no. Liar, liar. Oh, she does. Oh, yeah, I lied. Okay. No, Sarah used the door key. That's right. Okay. So yeah, I'm just I just not remembering my own run. S M H. My head. No, we gotta reset the whole recording. I'm sorry. This is incorrect commentary. No, because I lied. <laughs> It's not like that hasn't happened before uh, in this run. There's been multiple times when I'm like, oh yeah, this unit's gonna do X, Y, Z, and then they just don't. I just completely forgot what they we're, were actually doing. We're just trying to keep things as a surprise for all of you still watching. That's the only reason. Including this is me! Happening. Exactly. First time reactions to things we actually did ourselves. <laughs> It actually does remind me, um, I went to grad school and when I was doing my interview with them, um, because I, I had to write a paper to submit in order to, uh, you know, be in consideration for so that. So, like, application? Um, yeah, yeah, that's, that, yeah. Okay. That, just words, words friendly. But the paper had to be about the topic that I was going to grad school for. Um, so I showed up to my interview and one of the, uh, professors was like, so we haven't read your, uh, paper since you submitted it. And I'm like, yeah, that's fine. Neither have I. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no, I went fine, and I ended up getting accepted and got my graduate degree from there. Nice. But it was it's a pretty good, a uh, pretty good moment. What if they went? Ah, that was a trick to check your commitment. We actually did read your paper, and you didn't. Get out of here. Then I, then I would have screwed up. But I, I could, I thought the energy was going to permit it, and I was right. Uh -huh. <laughs> a social read to your advantage. I guess you can support yeah. grind here. That's funny. Yeah, um, I don't think that's what I'm trying to do. Hector is next to Lynn a few times, but nothing ever comes of it. Like, I was I was gonna try for that, or at least, like, see if I got it by chance, but it never ended up happening. They went out together a couple times, but nothing came of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they just weren't feeling it. The vibe wasn't there. The energy was not right for it. Is Apparently it, not. It, it is a lot of reinforcements, but it's like two per turn, like two enemies. It's like Yeah, it's like two knights from the top and two mages from the, from the, the left. It's not much, and they're not great. It's just kind of flexing, <laughs> as always. <laughs> um, gives my healers a lot of time to do stuff as well. Um, Matthew also has never gotten the bottom chest, so he's actually going back to do that. Yeah, I've seen he that only a lot. The door for it. It's it's very it's a compulsion of a lot of farm players, including me, to like, oh, I see a chest, I can just get it ASAP, and then go to the other chests that are further away from me later. Like, just take the closest chest first. It makes a lot of sense. But yeah. if, you're already gonna, if you already know you're going to spend like a million turns here, why not send Matthew back later? When again, you don't have any right. keys. That's literally what I'm doing with, or trying to figure out with uh, Chapter 12X in FE6. Um, because of the way that the thieves steal things and the, where the chests are located and all that, and the amount of turns I'm trying to take, that it's like, maybe sometimes I'll just skip a chest and go do something else instead, because I know that I'm going to have time to come back for it later. Yeah. I'm still trying to figure that one out, though. Most of music is kind of annoying in that regard because the enemy thieves don't drop items anymore, or yet, mm -hmm. I guess we could say. Yes. They do it in a few. There's like an earlier game where they do drop items, but they don't do it in FE6 at the point. And then you have to like either steal it back from them, or if it's a weapon, you just can't get it anymore. Unless it's Kath, in which case you can get it by recruiting her. Only on one chapter. Yep. But you know, usually for me, that chapter is, is chapter 12. Yeah, same. That's what. So I have Calf, and um, I'm also trying to get a little experience on her <laughs> it, uh, against the uh, brigands. So it's, a, it's an interesting chapter. Um, and in reference to that, um, I haven't said it yet during during this video. Um, recently, I have started uploading the FE6 uh, rank run recordings to my channel. Oh, so yeah. if you like this series, want to see one from the beginning, um, check out my channel where mm -hmm. uploads are still going on slowly. Um, and I haven't finished routing. So there's a chance that some of these videos might become obsolete if I need to revisit a chapter. Yeah, so, I, that, that's always the, a big fear in ranked, right? It's like, oh, I actually get to a point where I can no longer feasibly get an S rank from here. Like, I just don't have enough turns and experience to do it anymore. Yeah, I'm not worried about turns experience. I'm worried about the combat rank. Oh, wow. It's more difficult in FE6 than it is in FE7 because enemies don't fold like paper when you hit them. <laughs> and because there's a lot more, like, Pirates with hand axes and things like that. Oh yeah, that is annoying because two range in that game is especially inaccurate. People complain about FE6 accuracy, that's valid, but especially two range combat is so bad. 
God, I, I just did chapter 12, and that has got to be one of my least favorite chapters in the entire game um, for a rank run. Because it's like, you, the, the people you want to train, even if they have 1 to 2 range, are never hitting those archers. <laughs> they have like 50% hit. Yeah. Imagine like Geese or Gonzalez with a hand axe, or like Lot or Wade, or even like Trek. Even like Trek, Trek and Noah yeah. have trouble, yeah. So it's like, your, your options are like, what, Lou, Lilina, who might get doubled? Um, and that's about it. Or one hit and, KO'd. And maybe like Alan and Lance. Yeah, or one hit KO'd. So, uh, Shin. Shin is good, but there's only one of him. Yes. <laughs> and, uh, I imagine you don't want to train Shin too much, because she goes to Sike. Yeah. Yeah, so that's also a consideration. Wait, are you blocking reinforcements? You don't tell me you're blocking reinforcements. No, because they alternate. It's oh, okay. like two knights and then the mages and then the knights again, so they're not coming on this turn, so not blocking anything. Contrary to popular belief, I do pay attention sometimes, but not this time. <laughs> I only I only been noticing the knights, I don't know where the mages are. I they might not have started yet, I don't Are they from the stairs near Raven? No, they're they're from the left side, like where the thief escape point is. Oh, okay. Oh there they are. They're in, yeah. They sure also I uh I brought an archer, both archers back up. One of them I used Glowin to just carry all the way up there. <laughs> um, so they're they're now they have been ferried here successfully, so that they may also fight mages. Please tell me you got Rebecca first because they support. Uh, that that's never going to happen. No. <laughs> okay, don't tell raisins. But if we ever on the percent get Rebecca, I'm going to support grind her with Lowen in the early chapters just to get a head start. <laughs> hey, that makes sense. Especially if it's a race where Marcus is banned. Of... That's fair. I don't know what their affinities are. It's fire fire. I don't know how. Okay, then that's real, real good uh, offensive. Yeah. <laughs> Yay, Rebecca Wawa. She's level 13, which is kind of crazy. But her strength is still single digit. <laughs> yep. And that's part of why there's so much fun with ballistas in this game, in this run, is because ballistas are sometimes their only real means of doing damage. Don't ballistas have like roughly the same might as like a steel bow or something? Something like that, but, but uh, yeah. I guess I the, there's there are stronger ballistas, but I think they're usually like in enemy hands near the enemy base, basically. Like you don't really get one of them them at the start to play with. Usually. I don't know, maybe maybe yeah, they're I there. Remember. I know sometimes like ballistas placements differs per mode too. Like sometimes there's just not a ballista somewhere where there isn't another mode. I don't know if I've ever paid attention to that. I'll have to look into that. Okay. For all you... Yay! She does more than zero to armor knights! <laughs> Good thing there's a combat rank that prevents you from doing this kind of stuff. <laughs> Normally! <laughs> Not for me! I like how this one armor that has to be shared by two or three people, and then the, the other one's just killed with Kanas Lamau. Goodbye. <laughs> like, you don't even bother getting chip damage with, like, Hector or Eliwood or Lowen, it's just Kanas gets to kill, that's it. No one else gets to partake in this. I don't remember what my reasoning was for that. Um, I mean, Kanas needs to get kills, but that doesn't explain why I didn't chip, so... Yeah, it might just Not be sure. that Sarah can't heal everyone, so someone like Elliwood can't safely get chip, and then... You said Hector was like very easy to cap anyway, probably because he's forced to play, so he always gets to do that kind of chip damage all, all day. And then, like, what's even left at that point? Uh, that's kind of it. <laughs> yeah. A low one could javelin, I guess. That could be one thing you could do. I don't know if he does damage, but he probably does. <laughs> I mean, if Rebecca does damage, then I think Lowen will do damage. Yeah. Um, speaking of the Hector is going to cap anyway thing that I keep saying, um, I know we had talked about that in a previous video as to like why I thought that or was pushing for that. Um, and I had forgotten to mention it at the time. One reason is that I'm trying to go to uh, the the Geats chapter. Um, so Hector needs to be at a high level by the time we get to Poor Fanged Offense. But after that, he's got like seven chapters or something ridiculous like that before he promotes. Yes. Um, so it's like, I'm gonna be getting him to a high level anyway for four fang offense, but then after that, I really don't want him getting experience quickly. Yes. And the total level you need is, I think it's exactly 50 gets you there. So that would be like 17 hectares so, yeah. and then 60, or I think 17, 17, 16 gets you there. And a lot of people think, think the right. easiest way is like 20 hector and then 15 average on the other ones. But I don't know if that's true for this run. I feel like being even would be the best. Yeah, um, because, like, actually once you start getting close to 20, it feels like the experience gain takes such a hit that it's actually difficult to, like, get someone to 20, which is why, um, Kanas is having to, to, to push forward so hard here. Um, just because of 
had a hard mode experience cuts. Um, so having an even balance is a little easier, easier to achieve, especially because my Ellie Wood and then don't suck. Yeah, I think around 15 is when you start to feel the level push because it's it's based on how high your level is compared to the enemies. And the enemies in FE7, I think until Crazed Beast or maybe Four Fanged Offense, they're just not very high level unless you're talking about like Genesis pre promote enemies. It's just, they're like level 10 or something, like really low like that, or maybe even level 7 sometimes. Right, so. Yeah, I, I agree with you about 15 being kind of the point where it, where it starts to get noticeable. Um, so the, the less I have to work for it after that point, the better. I, I think there's even a point where you get more kills from chip than kills. I'm not sure if that's true, so you can spread this with a big dis disclaimer of like, that might not be true. But that's what I remember someone saying slash something happening like that to me when I was doing I've right heard myself. that. I haven't done any research into if that actually uh, checks out or not. Mm -hmm. I do know in FE7 normal modes, there's like a way to get more kills if you're overleveled compared to underleveled. Or more experience from the same enemy or like a higher level even from a lower level or something. Because of the way that the mode compensates for being overleveled. Yeah, I've why heard you, that too. That's why like units cap out so hard in like Cog of Destiny normal mode. Yeah, that's one thing that's nice about um, FE6 is that the, the, it feels a lot more linear because it is a lot more linear. Um, the kind of experience you get from, from fighting. Mm -hmm. I, so it's, it's, it feels easier to predict in some ways. I, I think you said you didn't play Genealogy, right? Not yet. <laughs> so in genealogy, it's, if you're overleveled by 15 or more, you just don't get experience for an enemy. <laughs> oh, like period? Okay. Yeah, just, nope, no experience for you. Interesting. I'll have to keep that in mind if I ever want to try. Uh, that one has a ranking system, right? Yes. I know it's not as it's not as fleshed out, yes. but I might try that at it's, some point. It's still one of the best ones for rank. Also, Lin was getting Oko by Darren Dare. Nice one. Yeah. We've come, we've so come I had to. Circle. I actually. There's a reason that Lowen and uh, Will attacked first, and that was because Lin would have gotten hit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so I guess Kanas can get one more armor kill for the road. Yeah. So so we kill um. Killed the boss, so there aren't any more reinforcements, but if there were, they would have been stopped by killing the boss. So that's why we waited so long to do it. Yes. I we just that. let him, like, quake in his boots on the throne, awaiting the moment when the army would descend upon him. Rest in peace. Rapier, I think? Uh, I thought it was about to break, but I guess I saw wrong. It is, but it doesn't break. Okay, good. It's like 4,000 gold total, I think, if you break it. Ripperino. Right. Muffon's rank. It certainly did help Ellie with like one round nomads here and there, so well used, yeah. well spent. Absolutely. Um, I'm not going to say much more about that at the moment, but yeah. that does come back later. Fair <laughs> enough. Well, that was chapter 20, Dragon's Gate completed in a smooth, what is it, like uh, 25 turns? Something like that, yeah. <laughs> Alright, we'll see you all next time. Bye! Bye!